All right, two hauls in one day, man. This is a good day, good day for comics. So this next haul is a little bit of a backstory, kind of cool. Uh, last, uh, two weeks ago, I was watching the Great Legends live show. He had an auction going on. He's got another one tonight. Go sub him up and check it out if you haven't already. And, uh, you know, he's got all these auctions, and I, I kind of got on late because I'm on the West Coast, so they're almost done when it's, like, just early evening out here. And a uh, YouTuber named Jason Smith, uh, he had a bunch of books, 30 Wolverine books for 30 bucks, And, you know, it's like run filler. Um, some of the uh, volume one going back to like the late 80s when, when Claremont started writing those, um, I think 88 or 89, it started. And uh, I love Wolverine. So I was like, cool. But I'm not like in big auctions. I was already spent my quota for that month. Um, so I was just like, all right, let's just watch this. And it's 30 books. 30 bucks was the starting bid. I'm like, cool dip my toe in the water of uh bidding on auctions on youtube so i did that crickets nobody else is bidding so two thoughts are going through my mind all right 30 bucks for 30 books not a big deal maybe these books stink and they're not worth that much and i should look closer <laughs> i don't know so uh long story short i i got the books um he did a really nice job packaging them got them out to me on time i screwed up my address i get stuff shipped to school um, I don't like leaving packages outside the front door out here, but, uh, I put my home zip, my school address and the post office corrected him. He emailed me. So really good contact, really great YouTuber. Um, you know, great guy. And I'll tell you what he sent me. I'm really happy with. So, you know, it wasn't my intent to buy them. Uh, it was my intent to sort of think about seeing to buy them and seeing what the auction process is going to be like, but I'm glad that I did. Uh, he put in about 10 extra books that, that uh, weren't part of what he showed on, on eBay. So I got about 40 comics for uh, 30 bucks, and uh, most of them are in really good condition, pretty happy. So let's begin. A little Jubilee action here, right? This is Uncanny X-Men number one from, uh, I don't know if they did two or three volumes of this, but this is the most recent volume. Obviously, this is a John Tyler Christopher action figure um, variant. So I thought that was really cool, a variant number one comic right off the bat. Pretty happy so far. I don't know what uh, this is from Wolverine 59. It's um, pretty sure, actually I'm positive it's not the first run, so probably the second volume. Uh, if you look there, you've got uh, Howard Shaken as the artist, Guggenheim, not sure who that is. So really cool. I like this cover a lot, all these different Wolverines. Um, really kind of neat way to do it. Very, very cool. Got another number one here for uh, a later run, very recent run it looks like, uh, judging by the style of the cover. Um, again, don't know much about this. Uh, obviously, I haven't had time to read all these, but really, really cool cover there. This is 317. I guess this is from the first run that made it up that far, but uh, Colin Bunn is the writer. And I don't know these, these other creators, so I'm not gonna try to read them all. Uh, looking at the reflection in the computer, but really cool cover going on here. Not exactly sure what I'm looking at, but uh, story-wise, but really, really nice artwork. I like that a lot. That's just really cool. Um, you can sort of start to see other shapes and things in the, the ice crystallizing here, but I, I don't think they're intentional. They just sort of look like things, so definitely dig that. Then I got some 90s action here. Wolverine Weapon X, number 10, written by Jason Aaron. Very cool, like his stuff. Got a kind of menagerie of female characters there. Mystique, um, Rogue, looks like maybe Lady Deathstrike. Definitely looks like you got a little action, uh, lecture action there, so some cool stuff. And this other one, looks like we're looking at Wolverine and Gambit. Victims, Point of No Return, I have no idea what this is about. It's an all-new X-Men special event. This is some type of promo they were doing. I don't know. Um, 90s really aren't my time because I, you know, I stopped collecting in 89, 90 when I went to college. Um, picked up collecting in 2012, so there's a good 20-year gap where I don't know much. Uh, got a little Dark Wolverine. Very cool cover here. I don't know if that's Gerard Way on a writing um or some other way and francis what is this lineal liu is that the name i'm gonna get it wrong so i'm just gonna be quiet now let you look at that really cool cover try to get less glare 
and then uh, actually hit the run of Wolverine. And this is really cool, man. Going right back to a little Silver Samurai action there for number two, 1988. Chris Claremont. And then I forget who the uh, artists on these originally were. You know, I had number one of this and I sold it about 12 years ago on eBay for 10 bucks. And now it's going for like 50, 60. Uh, number three right there. Very cool. Looks like Wolverine's in the samurai suit. Number four. Rough House and Blood Sport. First appearance of those guys, it seems like. I have no idea if they're popular characters or not. A little Cinco action here. We're going to go to the other side. All right. Number five. Number six. Classic Wolverine pose. He was going by the nickname of Patch at this time. I can't remember why. I'd have to go back and read all these, which I will when I have time. There's another number six. And guess what? There's another number six. Anybody need an extra Wolverine number six? Just let me know. I'll be glad to send it to you. I don't need three copies. Something cool they were doing. You see comics do this from time to time. Doing these little galleries on the back. So Wolverine gallery. Um, don't know why he's got blood coming out of his mouth there, but some cool cigarette smoke. Pretty awesome. How you doing, buddy? Everything okay? Yep. All righty. And then number seven, so we got two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pretty excited about that. Nice way to start off a run. Skip a few. Number 10. So all of these are in really good shape. You know, I'd say they're all like eight fives or above. There's nothing like pristine about them, um, but there's, there was no janky uh, junk in there either. Jason did a really nice job and he's true to his word in his description. So you got Lady Deathstrike, you got Puck from Alpha Flight. Uh, Looks like that's going to be a good one to read. 47. It's classic Wolverine look again. 48. You got a little Mark Silvestri on this. A little saber tooth there. And then coming up, I forgot to take the sticker off this one, but this is a nice comic. So if you're not familiar with this, this is all um, laser cut. So it's actually like the, the front page is yellow and the, the cover is on the inside. So this is, uh, you know, it's, it's got that textured feel to it. And claw slashes, very, very cool. But it's top secret. Now you can see this comic look like it looks like a 90s comic, right? The other comics look like they're from the 80s. Now it's starting to have a, a 90s look to it. 90s feel to the artwork and stuff. Um, definitely things looking a little bit different. So this is uh, Andy Kubert, not Adam Kubert. It's interesting. I don't know if he went by Andy at some point or if he's got a brother that she covers. Who knows? 62. Another classic Wolverine saber tooth. There's 63. 64. Look, it's Sabretooth again. Can't get enough Sabretooth in your Wolverine covers, I guess. At least not in this run here. A little 73 action there. 74, Jubilee. Joining in the action. Very nice. Gotta love some Jubilee. Now we're definitely getting some 90s. This doesn't show up on the computer. I've tried to write a little holograph action. You can sort of see the claws there, but it's a cool holograph. You know, they started doing this um, in a lot of their, their comics right around this time. 75, 76, beautiful Lady Death Strike right there. That scream on both of them. Wolverine's muscles all of a sudden got six times bigger than 20 issues ago, but that's okay. Right, I'm trying to see if I know any of these. Dwayne Jarvis, Bennett, something. Don't know these creators. I'm not going to open it up to look at full names. Another iconic Wolverine cover here. And now, Adam Kubert. I got to go and research Andy Kubert. I don't know if he just used a different name on some of his earlier stuff or if he's just got a brother or if they're not related at all and there's just two Kuberts who've done Wolverine covers. That's going to be really interesting to find out. I got an extra one of those too if anybody needs a 77. Reason I'm highlighting all this Adam Kubert stuff is he's going to be at Emerald City Comic Con. I know he's a famous artist. Uh, before this, I was looking, I don't have anything by him to get signed, so 
I was really stoked to uh, get all these Adam Kubert covers. I'm going to have to find one or two of my favorites to get them to sign. Maybe this one. It's got all the white space here. It's kind of nice to get a signature there. It doesn't ruin the art. This one is just baffling me. All right, there's 79. Looks like everything about this is different. Um, the style of copy and stuff, but it's a dollar seventy-five. So I know it's in the the, the first run. Um, don't mind it; just looks like a different cover, um, different style of cover. So it just baffled me. This is the one I'm excited about. Out of all the ones, I like this even more than uh, than fifty. I don't know if you know the story behind this one, but let's go take a peek. Wolverine number eighty. I have a copy of this that I got for a dollar, and I thought it was an amazing deal until I realized it's got a massive tear <laughs> and hole right here. So I got this. There's a tiny little bit of uh, jankiness. Where is it? I don't know if you can see it right, right above my finger there, right there. I mean, it, it's not bad at all. Really great. So this is not the first appearance of X-23. It's the first test tube appearance of X-23. If you look at that test tube there in the yellow panel, uh, it's labeled X-23. And it's, uh, it says Logan X and then number 23 at the bottom. In my search for adamantium, I uncovered an entire ignot in a federal storage depot of recently declassified items. Mixed in with the ingots were medical records and tissue samples. Wolverine. It doesn't say he snarls, but, you know, as a narrator, you read Wolverine snarls. Pieces of me. That's Wolverine for you. So, really excited to get that. This comic sells for a little bit. I mean, I'm not like, I didn't hit the jackpot, but that was just really cool that he put that in there. Um, you know, I asked him about it. He said, that oh, was part of the original sale. So, I didn't even notice that, but it was part of it there. So I think we're up to 80, and I was 80, 80 something, another Kubert cover, um, 90. Now, I'm not criticizing Kubert's art. I'm pointing out how 90-ish this artwork looks. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. There's something there that is anatomically bizarre and very typical of the artwork and the style you see in the 90s. You see it in all the early Savage Dragons and um, Cyber whatever, all the first Image comics when those guys started doing out. And I'm not, not ripping into them at all. Just saying it's really emblematic of that time period. You know, and it's, it's funny to see looking back now. Um, you can sort of see the same thing here. Again, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. Uh, it's just that's what they were doing in comics back then. You know, that's what they were doing in comics. Hey, look, it's Sabretooth in a Wolverine comic. That's Surprising. Never see that, do you? So I guess we're going issue 104 here or something like that. There you go. That's 90s outfit. That's 90s costuming for you right there. Leotards and thigh-high boots. Somehow that's a protective cover to wear if you're a supervillain. 96, still looking really cool. Onslaught Impact 2, Into the Fire. Not too busy a cover. It looks really cool. And again, we have Adam. No, we don't have Adam Kubert. We've got somebody different down there now. Just coming up to 1996. This cover, except for the, the box up here, the actual appearance of the, the writing of Wolverine looks like an older one, but this is December of 96, almost 97. Very cool looking, and the last one that I got in the run, again, this, this red and black and white cover. I think it says 107 down the bottom. Again, really, really cool. Really excited to have this. So, my, my experience, my first live auction on YouTube did not go like I expected because I won something that I wasn't trying to. But, uh, totally psyched that I did. You know, I'm not, not complaining at all. That was really, really cool. Uh, shout out to Jason Smith. If you want to get in on any of his auctions, the guy is stand up, shipped well, price was decent, comics were good, they were in good shape, and he shipped quickly, good communication. That's, you know, those are the things you're checking off boxes for on eBay and whatnot. So this saved you some eBay fees, didn't have to go through that waiting, just right there, live auction, won it. So I'm really happy. Uh, 
if you guys like this, I'll be doing more stuff every time I get something. You know the deal. Like and subscribe. Share it out. Let your friends know. I'm up to 72 subscribers. I hit 100. I'll be doing one of those contests. I haven't thought about it yet. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. But for now, this is Tacoma Comics, and I'll see you guys later. Have a great week coming up.